zilch. What's this? Old manifest. Lots of treasure. Thief. It's nothing. He ain't getting up. Captain Avery. You've certainly seen better days. Nathan, over here. Hey, Nathan, check it out. What do you got? The battalion money. It says Avery Sigil on it. Mm -hmm. Must have melted down the gold, minted his own currency. So based on that, all the manifests on the shelves, the treasure was here. Yeah. Leaves the bigger question, where is it now? Okay, so we know that there was fighting outside. Yeah, Dan, inside. Do you think the colonists stole it? No. I think they were trying to reclaim what was theirs. Look, there's Avery, two. Founders of Libertalia. All marked with the word thief. Not murderer, not tyrant. Thief. So by the time the colonists busted in here, the treasure was already gone. Yeah, because these guys had already taken it for themselves. Pirates will be pirates, right? Uh, pirates will be pirates. Huh. I know where they moved it. What? Where? It's a map. Yeah, right there. That's our treasury. It's, it's a map of Libertalia. All right, so follow it to the other side of the island. And look, right there. New Devon. Wait, Avery was from Devon, England. He sure was. Man, those are some seriously large mansions. Each of them has its own sigil, too. Because that's where they lived. You say we uh, climb that watchtower, huh? Get our bearings. New Devon, here we come. Now, how do we get up there? I got an idea. You give me a hand with this? Okay. Okay, ready? Okay, that's step one. Step two. Raise the chandelier. 
Good idea. <laughs> Sound surprised. Just take the compliment. <laughs> Thank you. All right. Now the place is looking classy. Let's get up there. Nice one, Tarzan. Excuse me. Oh, sorry, Condon. Baldridge. What? You're stepping on Baldridge. Oh, so I am. We go. I'm really shocked the stairs are intact. Hey, hey, hey. Don't jinx us. Soon. Like I said. Nathan, you seeing this tower? Sure am. You Sam? Yeah. All right, just making sure you haven't plummeted to your death. <laughs> just about there. <laughs> he sure is excited. Hey, can you get me up there? You bet. Come on, ready? Ready. All right, I found something. Stand back. Here you go. Come on. Quite the crow's nest, huh? There it is. Just on the other side of the river. Now, what do you say we go? Rob from the rich, huh? <laughs> hey, is there a path down there? Uh, of sorts. Come on. So, how long do you figure it'll take us to get the new Devon? Well, a couple hours. Depends on what or who we bump into along the way. RPG! Oh, shit! Jesus! You all right? Yeah! Come on! Go this window! Don't 
Let's try this again. Okay, Mango. Mango! What are you on about? Oh, it's my safe word. Mm. Are you always this clever? Uh, I have my moments. Yes. You and your brother have proven yourselves the more capable treasure hunters on the island. Shame we're not on the same side. There's, there's still time. Trust a drink. I'm not falling for that again. Hey, hey just, just let's talk about this. <laughs> Okay, that was a bit rougher than expected. I'll just uh, see myself out. After everything, you think I'm just going to let you walk away? That'd be the wise thing to do. Oh, come on, Nadine, really? We know you're a badass and all, but there's two of us. I don't think my men are on their way here right now. All I have to do is buy some time. That's if I don't finish it myself. God damn it. Go! <laughs> <laughs> Get 
tired of this island. I'm tired of your brother. And I'm tired of you. Oh, I know you don't. Get back. How did you do that? Nathan! Can we just talk about this? I don't think so. Fast, but you're not that fast. Hey, forget about her. Come on, we gotta get out of here before they. Shit. Whoa, 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 whoa! Everybody, just, just calm down, okay? Well, this is interesting. Nate. Samuel. Put your guns down, all of you. No. Rafe, this guy's on edge. Oh, don't worry about him, Nadine. These guys don't kill anyone in cold blood. It's just not their style. You wanted to bet her life on that? Go ahead, then. Shoot her. Sam. I die, you both die. So be it. Not another step! You mean... like this? Sam, put the gun down. I warned you. Do it! Rafe! It's done! Hold your fire! Don't shoot! Put it down. It's done. Okay? It's done. Don't worry, Nadine. It's not their style. I say, I didn't think he had it in him. <laughs> Samuel. You okay? I guess you knew this moment was coming, huh? Hey! <laughs> Come on, man. You already got us. Take it easy. Come on now, you're a businessman. Let's just, just work out a deal. Oh, a deal? Oh, yeah. I'll be here with you have in mind. <coughs> oh, you can go ahead. I'm listening. I just... Right. You want to find Avery's treasure? We'll help you find it. And in exchange, I let you live? Yeah. That and a small cut. The gout shows on this guy. Just enough to get him his freedom, okay? His freedom? Nathan. Yeah. He did hard time. Our time. And the guy who broke him out, Hector Alcazar, he owes him a lot of money. Whoa. What the hell are you talking about, Nate? Hector Alcazar died in a shootout in Argentina like six months ago. I'm the one that got Samuel out. Oh. Wow. What did he tell you? Sam, what kind of story did you cook up? Alcazar? Really? You lied? You lied to your baby brother? We're wasting time. Just a second. Thing is, Nate, I never stopped looking for Avery's treasure. I just kept running into these dead ends. <laughs> and then I hear that our dear old Samuel Drake an authority on Avery is alive and somewhat well. There was no breakout. I bribed the prison warden, and your brother, he just waltzed right out of the front gate. He spent the last two years tracking down a second St. Dismas Cross. You know what? He did it all with me. Uh, oh, yeah? No, that's bullshit. Oh. Sam, care to refute? Nate. Oh, Sam. Jesus, no. No. Listen, Avery's treasure was ours. It was always ours. I left my light for you. <laughs> hey, look, look, Nate, if it's any consolation, he duped me too. He 
pulled a Houdini on me, he brought you and that old man back into the mix. And I cannot lie, Sam, that really pissed me off. But, <clears throat> all behind us now. You don't deserve it. You do? Last I checked, we're all a bunch of thieves digging around where we shouldn't. Rafe? What? One way or another, end it. Or I will. Well, you heard the lady. Hey, you missed one clue. You can kiss that treasure goodbye. You said it yourself. Keep running into dead ends. Why don't you face it, Rafe? You need us. No, you're right. You're half right. I just need Sam. Wait, now you're making a mistake. Don't, you don't, don't, don't listen. here anyway. I don't know, no idea. But this is definitely the address. Been scoping the place out for the past few days. No one's home. <sighs> and here we are. Whoa. This place is humongous. <laughs> Where do we even start? Uh, well, we start by finding a way in. And then we can take the grand tour. You think this place has an alarm? Let's try and find a way in that doesn't involve breaking a window. I'm pretty sure the front door will be locked. It was worth a try. Hey, Nathan, look. It's an open window. Oh, yeah. Here, follow me. All right. Let's look around back, huh? <laughs> okay. Give me your hand. There you go. I can't jump that high. Here, follow me. Come on, Nathan. Whoa. <laughs> Spooky. Oh, well, here. I brought a spare. So, are we looking for any particular room? Uh, just keep an eye out for any books, journals, any kind of research papers, you know? Nothing in 
in here. Nope. It's not gonna be in this attic. Boxes are filled with old traveling and camping equipment. Down we go. So, how do we find them? What, Mom's notebooks? I mean, don't you remember? She always used that off-white leather binding. Yeah, I know, but... It's such a large place. It's like finding a needle in a haystack. Here we go. White leather. Sam, I think I found one. For real? No. It's not one of Mom's. You got the right idea, though. Let's keep looking. Was this your house? Hey, these boxes remind you of anything? Every place we ever lived. Exactly. I remember Dad was always like, why bother unpacking? We're just gonna move again in a month. Yep, always the asshole. Hey, Sam. Call me crazy, but this looks like a Ming Dynasty vase. Nathan, who in their right mind would have a Ming Dynasty vase just sitting around like that? Yeah, it's probably a knockoff of some kind. Yeah, of course it is, right? Right. <gasps> uh, won't budge. Here, let's do it together. You ready? Push! <laughs> What the hell? It's some sort of sarcophagus. Yeah. Look around. This whole place is filled with sarcophaguses. Or sarcophagi. Hmm. Sam. This is real. What is this place? Well, let's go find out. <laughs> hmm. And you recognize that one? Uh, I, I've seen something like it before. Reclining figures. It's Etruscan. Ah, uh, that's right. Yeah, husband and wife, They're buried together. some sort of way. <laughs> yeah.
Hmm, this one's Roman. Third, maybe fourth century. This place is like a damn museum. <laughs> Think they've got a dinosaur wing? Wouldn't surprise me. Here's another one. <sighs> nope. I do believe this is an ancient Mesopotamian washer dryer combo. <laughs> <laughs> Ah, I was the funny one. Always was. Hey, Nathan, check me out. Now, who am I? Huh? Dr. Livingston! Come on! <laughs> <laughs> nice. give to get an invite like this. So where are we going? Huh? Well, if you could go anywhere in the world, where would you pick? Anywhere? Anywhere. Okay, well... Here we go. India. Yeah, we'll visit the Taj Mahal. Hey, check it out. <laughs> Hail Caesar. I just read this one. Kind of incredible. It's about the first Western woman to visit Lhasa, Soviet Union. Let's go to Moscow. Yeah, it might be a tad difficult to get in. I always wanted to see the Red Square, though. Let's try again. England. Sure would be cool to see Windsor Castle. Right, Sam? Hey, hey, don't look at me. It's not my fault you weren't born yet. It's not like I remember much of it anyways. And... It wasn't that cool. Uh-huh. Okay. One last spin. Brazil. Hey, now you're talking. All kinds of undiscovered places in the rainforest. And all kinds of undiscovered tribes with poison darts. Yeah. That too. Utility totems. Hey, aren't you a little young to be looking at that stuff? Wow. This table's as big as the ones in the orphanage dining hall. I bet the food here was better. <laughs> Wouldn't take much. Damn. They must have thrown some great parties in here. Judging by the artifacts, they certainly had enough money for it. Yeah. Looks like it's been a long time since the last one, though. of Arabia. Always wanted to see that flick. Never got around to it, though. Jousting armor. Looks French. A dragon gong. Huh. Looks like it's from Southeast Asia. Nice. Going it alone.
Hey, they've got your favorite book here. Really? Which one? A general history of the robberies and murders of the most notorious pirates. Yeah, more like a generally made up history. Even the author's name is a fake. Fake or not, this looks like a first edition. Are you serious? Man, this place, man. Wow. Want to take it with you? <laughs> nah. It'll just disintegrate in my backpack. You could sell it. Then you wouldn't need to take that job. Well, tonight, let's just stick with what already belongs to us. Liven up the place. <laughs> Since when do you like classical music? Excuse me, I am a man of many tastes. Samurai. Eh? You recognize the crest? <sighs> uh, hollyhock leaves are, um, let's see, don't tell me, don't tell me, uh, Tokugawa clan. Yeah, right you are. Can you imagine being the one to actually uncover these things? Okay. I don't think Mom's journals are anywhere in here. Let's, uh... Let's check upstairs. <sighs> hmm, it's locked. Mom's stuff might be in one of these rooms. We gotta find another way in. Hey, the air vent. Up there. Oh, well, yeah. That could get us into the room below it. Not us. You. What? I, I can't fit in there. Can you handle it? You kidding me? Can I handle it? All right. Let's see what you got then. Check this out. You ready? Oh, oops. It's a Polaroid. Let me see. I think it still works. Come here. A smile, all right? Don't lose it. Okay, up here. Hey, don't fall.
There. I'll see you on the other side. Okay. It's a good thing I'm not claustrophobic. I'm in. Can you get the door open? Uh, hold on. <sighs> Coding. Lots of painkillers. <sighs> it's locked from this side, too. And look around. Is there a key nearby? Anything? Didn't see any journals. All right, well, we still got the other locked door, so come on. Wow. Uh, journals galore. Well, let's see what we find. something <gasps> This is it Is a paradise? For that. What is he holding? Hey, 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 you keep your gun on me. Give me my journal. <laughs> all right, all right. All right. I'm sorry, Nathan. So what now? Now, we wait uh, for the police. Yeah, you don't want to have to deal with that headache. Stop. I mean, the hassle of ruining two kids' lives, that's... I really don't want to shoot you. Come on, lady. It was no harm, no foul, all right? We all must face the consequences for our actions. Hm. And at least let him go. I brought him down here so he could see our mom's stuff. That's it. He had nothing to do with this. I'm telling you that this is all on me. 
No. Your mother's stuff. Yeah, that, that journal. It was our mom's. You're Cassandra Morgan's boys. Uh... Hi? My god! <coughs> I could have shot you! Yeah, you still might, so, uh... Do you mind? You knew our mom? She worked for me. As I'm sure you've noticed, I'm a collector of sorts. <laughs> That's sort of an understatement. So, Mom was like your translator? Your mother was the most brilliant historian I have ever met. We could have accomplished so much together. But then her illness and... I'm sorry. It's all right. Happened a long time ago. Of all her discoveries, this would have been her crowning achievement. Sick Parvis Magna. Greatness from small beginnings. Sir Francis Drake's motto. Yeah, Latin and historical figures. <laughs> Those were our dinner conversations. We were uh, a weird family. Did she ever tell you her theories regarding Sir Francis Drake and his heirs? Uh, Sir Francis Drake didn't have any heirs. Yeah. That's what history tells us. But your mother and I believed otherwise. Learning that old pirate's secrets is just one more adventure I have to let go. I guess there's a lot I have to let go. <laughs> Forgive me. Ramblings of an old woman. Here. It is as much yours as it is mine. Who knows? Perhaps one day you'll be able to finish what she started. Uh, yeah, so, uh, we're off the hook, right? I'll handle the police. You found your way in. I trust you can see yourself out, hmm? Yeah. Uh, Here. <sighs> Thank you. Sorry about the mess. <laughs> All right, come on, Nathan. Let's go. <gasps> Are you okay? Oh, holy shit. Hey. 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 Sam? Khalid, oh, you all right? Wait, we have to do something. Yeah, we need to get the hell out of here. Can't just leave her here. There's nothing we can do for her. All right, we have to run. If the cops find us here, then this. Ma'am? Nathan! We gotta go. Right now. Sam! I 
got you. Just jump. The chimney. Come on. Come in. Front gate looks clear. Don't think so. Front gate. Got it. Yeah. Go slow. Okay. Hey, Dave! You all right? You there! Don't move! Run for it! This way! We can lose him! This is Officer Murphy. We've got two burglary suspects on foot. One of them, one of them. Now, move down! Freeze, goddammit! Down on the ground! Shit. Have him on your head! God damn it! Pack this way! Go, go, go! Gotcha! Come on, go! I did already! One more warning! Down on the ground! Hands on your head! Gotcha! Oh, shit. I'd say we're clear, but we catch our breath for a second. Some night, huh? Some night. That old lady. Hey. Hey, you listen to me. That wasn't our fault back there. I mean, that lady, she, she was, um, sick. I mean, it's okay to feel bad, but there was nothing we could do about it. So what are we gonna do now? I can't go back to the orphanage. You can't go back to your job. Then we don't. Sure. No, I'm serious. We get as far away from this place as we possibly can. Yeah? And how long till the cops find us? Oh, I think they'll be looking for Nathan and Samuel Morgan. Yeah, that's us. What if it wasn't? Nathan, back at that mansion, you knew just as much about that stuff as that poor old lady. Here. I always felt that we were destined for something great. But until tonight... I didn't know what that meant. But this... Mom's unfinished work. This is our chance to restart our lives. With brand new identities. What are you talking about? Well, I know some guys. Pretty good at forging papers, too. Now, as for our new name... Mom believed that Sir Francis Drake had heirs. Who's to say he didn't? You're serious, aren't you? Nathan, we were meant for this. And I promise, you and me together, we're gonna go far. So what do you say? Nathan Drake? <laughs>